It was a wonderful thrill to be the recipient of the Joyce Carol Oates Prize awarded by the Simpson Literary Project and a distinct honor to be among such fine finalists as Rachel Kushner, Valeria Luiselli, Sigrid Nunez, Anne Rayath, and Amor Coles. The Joyce Carol Oates Prize came at just the right time. I was getting ready to publish a novel called The Other Americans, which is about a family that is brought together again following the death of their father in a hit and run accident in the Mojave Desert. I, as always, I didn't know what to expect, whether the book would find readers, whether it would resonate with people. When I heard about the prize a couple of weeks before publication, it gave me a great boost of confidence as I set out to promote the other Americans. But the Joyce Carolos Prize also did something much more pragmatic, which is that it helped me with work in progress. At the time, I had been researching a book of nonfiction called Conditional Citizens, which explores boundaries of Americanness and looks at questions like who can go jogging without fear of violence? Who can be stopped for a traffic violation without risk of police brutality? Who can go protesting at state capitals while carrying AR-15s without risk of arrest? Who can criticize their government without being told to go back where they came from? And um, who is subjected to immigration stops without due cause? Using the funds from the Joyce Carol Oates Prize, I was able to travel to the border with Mexico and the border with Canada and to observe the effect of immigration enforcement on small towns on, along the border. I was also able to use the funds uh, to take time off from summer teaching and focus on my writing. And as a direct result of this, I completed the manuscript earlier this year and I have in my hands an advanced review copy of Conditional Citizens, which is going to be published by Pantheon in September 2020. So thank you to the Joyce Carol Oates Prize for this great honor. Your generous support has nurtured my writing, helped me share the stories I wanted to tell, and made a huge difference to my work. I also want to extend a very warm welcome to the new recipient, Daniel Mason. Congratulations.